Okay. I started about 3 o'clock this afternoon and it's uh, almost 1 o'clock in the morning. Or a little past, I guess. And I got this thing the way I want it now. I took my frame apart and recut it, re-welded it. And I have it. That just looks better to me with those frame rails going in the bottom of the cab and instead of way up here. It just didn't look right. Plus that engine, I set that engine down about six inches. And now it lines up with the rear end real good. Before it was just way too high. So uh, that's what I wanted. And I like the way the cab sets with a little bit of a rake to it. And uh, if I can get back far enough to get this whole thing in the in the frame there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to put a little short pickup box. Uh, well, I've got the original box, and I'm going to cut some out of it, shorten it up, and stick it on the back. And, uh, and then that's going to look the way I wanted it to look. And I need to dedicate this video to my YouTube friend. His name is Mr. Comatose, and I spelled C-O-M-A-T-O-E-S, which is kind of cool. Guy must have a sense of humor. And uh, he wrote to me, and he's recovering from some back surgery, and he's got a lot of time on his hands. And so he said this YouTube has really been enjoyable for him, and and he's uh, kind of been watching this work that I've been doing on this thing. And the only complaint he had was that I don't shoot enough videos, and they're lot, not long enough. But <laughs> it'd probably bore everybody else if they were much longer. So I'll keep it fairly short, but. That's what I wanted. I got my frame redone. And, uh, what I'll do now is I'm going to cap this on the top and on the bottom, and I'm going to put uh, uh, a gusset in here. And I'm going to kind of wait on that until I get my steering box mounted and just kind of see where everything winds up. But one thing I did was I cut this firewall out while the engine was setting up high. So consequently, I've got a, a large gap in there now. But I've got some sheet metal, and I think what I'll do is, is slide this cab back just about an inch, and then I can uh, put a put a flat piece of metal and fill all that in and make it look a lot better. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with the radiator yet, if I'm going to lay it down or if I'm going to stand it up straight. But I kind of like those big old bug-eyed lights on there. That's just going to look sick, man. And uh, that's what I wanted. Yeah, I'm looking it. I'm liking it. I'll do a walk around here. Take a look at it from the back. Yeah, I think it looks pretty mean. So there you go, Mr. Comatose. <laughs> Slow video. A little video action for you there. There's an update on the Rat Rod 1932 Chevrolet Confederate. Thanks a lot for watching.